phone and she was like, hey, um, are you busy? And I'm like, no, no, I'm not busy. Like, what's up? She's like, so, um, you know, I had my appointment and basically the doctor told me that I have HIV. I don't know what Darius is going to do. Like, I don't know if he gave it to her. She, I, like, I don't know. I see Darius with the baby in the baby carriage hopping in the motherfucking car and bitch he goes. He leaves. I'm like, what the fuck? Did this nigga just leave? What the hell? And then he left with the baby? Like, how you? Maybe he just gonna cool off. Thank you so much for watching Miss Angelique TV where we talk about everything and when I mean everything I mean like episode number five like damn it's been five weeks already it's just time just been going by and I ain't even much gonna complain but goddamn if you're new to my channel and you're trying to figure out what I mean about episode five that's because you ain't watch episode four three two or probably one so before you even continue this video Go ahead and hit that pause button and catch up on my other story times real quick. I promise you it won't take you that long. Probably gonna give you something to do. Watch while you're at work, while you're working out. Whatever you like to do or whatever. And also go ahead and hit that subscribe button below if you're new as well. Because if you're not subscribed then like I don't even know what you're really doing. And also hit that like button and turn your post notifications on. That way you can know whenever I post next. But for the most part I'm going to be posting this series every Friday at 6pm. Outside all of that let's go ahead and get straight into the video. I wanna start with your mama, she should've whooped your ass mm. Girl, you ain't shit, but she don't Last story time was a shocker I seen y'all comments in episode 3 of, you know, y'all telling me what y'all thought Katrina was gonna tell me in episode 4 And when I tell y'all, ain't nobody get that shit right <laughs> Ain't nobody get that shit right And I'm not surprised because, like, that was nobody seen that coming like bitch i ain't even see that shit coming so it's for me to expect y'all to see it coming like no i already knew y'all was not gonna see that coming so um we know the big news the big bombshell like girl it was crazy right and i did forget to add a little context in last story time as well i did get a comment under episode four and it was like it was like how did katrina not know she was burning all that time uh, or whatever and girl let me tell y'all i don't know <laughs> I don't know because obviously I didn't talk to her or anything or knew really anything about her prior to this happening. So no one knows how long she had it. But if y'all remember in episode one, I whenever I initially introduced y'all, I did tell y'all she was like a little thick. She was a thick girl. And then come episode two, which is approximately like two years later, she's skinny. <laughs> she's small. She's like, she's tiny. Like tiny as fuck, bitch. So at that point, once I figured out what I figured out, like I put two and two together. I'm like, oh, that's why she lost all that weight because she was sick and she didn't know that she was sick. And if she did know that she was sick, like she wasn't communicating it to anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how some people like, feel like something wrong with them but they don't never get it checked out like i don't know if it was one of those type of situations or i don't know if she truly didn't have any signs but to me if i'm not working out if i'm not doing nothing extra or whatever and i'm just drastically losing weight i'll give myself a side eye like like i know i look good or whatever I, I lost a little weight why am i losing this weight so much you know what i'm saying but like I said, I don't know what was going on in her head. I don't know none of that. But I just wanted to add that context to last week's story time because I did forget to put that in the video. So moving forward to the end of episode four, I was talking about how Darius and Katrina, they got into it and Darius ended up fucking leaving with the damn baby girl. Baby only four weeks old. Baby still got amniotic fluid on the skin. That's how young she was. And he just up and left or whatever. So I'm just like, okay, what the fuck? Okay, maybe he's just leaving and, you know, blow off some steam. Whatever. Girl, I was went by. He still ain't fucking pull up. I decided to text him. And I don't have the full conversation because I was, like, just screenshotting shit. Back then, I don't even know if I knew what was going to be doing this story time. I probably was screenshotting it to show it to one of my homegirls or whatever. <laughs> you know, I have to talk my shit to some damn body, bitch. I'm going to go and read it with y'all. The message that I'm getting ready to read to y'all is Darius' response to me 
whenever I asked them what happened, like why they ended up arguing and shit like that to begin with. So I wake up to her crying and I asked her what's wrong. She didn't respond, so I threw my towel at her and still got no reply. So she walked out and I said, oh, I guess he meant here she go with this crying shit. She come back and said, what you said? And then he proceeded to say, she gonna say she doing this by herself. So I reminded her who was up until four and five in the morning and that she only was up last night dealing with the baby then i told her she was selfish she's not the only one going through this i'm just not coming home i'm gonna stay tonight at blank house um which he was referring to his sister it was a petty ass argument this is his first baby and this is uh not her first baby but it's probably her first time experiencing a postpartum you know what i'm saying a, a postpartum state with all of this going on as far as newly being diagnosed with hiv so she going through some new shit too so they both just going through a bitch me and my husband just talking about it and my husband like it's all right there is he gonna you know come around or whatever he be irrational and react off of emotion versus logical thinking so he he not really not worried about it so i'm not really worried about it either i'm just like okay it is what it is shit my husband ain't worried about it so why the fuck should i be and this is what me and my husband also was telling katrina at this point because we had went ahead and checked up on her and shit like that just to make sure she was all right um and she was just like yeah i'm okay i'm all right which i'm pretty sure she wasn't but you know what else the fuck you gonna goddamn say so my husband was just telling katrina the same thing oh he just he gonna be all right you know how how darius is don't even worry about it just enjoy your night without the baby because at this point it started to get dark so i'm just like okay is he not coming home with the baby at all tonight i guess not so maybe we're gonna see him tomorrow right just like girl don't even worry about it get you some rest this may not be the ideal break but just use it as a break because like you you stress out you probably sleep the prior like go get some motherfucking rest you know let him deal with the baby and y'all gonna fix this shit whenever he decided to bring his black ass back to the house right darius didn't left goddamn kirk at the house too at this point so i'm just like how the fuck this is supposed to be your best friend you didn't got into it with your girl and you didn't left your best friend at the house with the your girl that you're beefing with how did that even work kirk shit he ain't had no motherfucking car kirk ain't have shit so what the fuck was he gonna do not a goddamn thing he was sleeping in a game room so he was in that damn game room on that air mattress minding his motherfucking business not saying shit the next day we noticed darius pull up but he didn't come to the door he didn't get out the car he didn't do any of that we just noticed he pulled up and then all of a sudden we hear kurt going downstairs and leaving out the house and getting in the car with darius so i'm just like okay what the fuck now it wasn't really out of the ordinary because at this time darius and kurt they used to like go do door dash and shit together uh, to make you know a couple of extra dollars or whatever so and that was kind of their thing at this point so it really wasn't out of the ordinary but i'm just like okay when you gonna bring the baby back like everybody just wondering you know we don't see the baby in the car like what where, where the baby at <laughs> you know um we did later find out that the baby was while he while darius was out and about the baby was at the house with his people with his dad and his sister and shit like that so they watching the baby while he out door dash you know whatever the case may be right as time gone by katrina end up asking darius like okay when you're gonna bring the baby back like i know we ain't on good terms right now but like i do want to see my baby like I, you know what i'm saying like what's up and so darius telling katrina like you need some time away from the baby because you're not mentally stable right now to be taking care of a baby the way that you were acting the other day just basically throwing all of that shit in her face like no katrina you can't take care of the baby as if she ain't been a mother before i felt like being that she was so used to allowing her baby fathers to control where the kids gonna be at and shit like that she didn't fight darius too much because she was used to that shit she was used to you know what i'm saying being really the baby daddy instead of the baby mama but i would think about things like that so it didn't really shock me to know that she didn't fight as hard as i felt like she should have fought to get her newborn baby back so girl at some point darius and kirk pulled up but once again darius don't get out the car kirk just gets out the car and kirk kirk comes in the house but i noticed whenever kirk came in the house he was just standing in the game room okay so my room was literally across from the game room so if y'all if i could pull up the footage y'all will see how my room my door is like right across from the game room so i was able to see what kirk was doing the moment he walked up in the house because my door was wide open so he walks in the house and he's just standing there his back is turned away from us i could tell he's just standing there and like texting or doing whatever the fuck on his phone so and at this point y'all i forgot to say y'all at this point 
Katrina is actually in me and my husband's room just chopping it up with us. We're just talking or whatever. Yes, we were talking about Darius, but we were reiterating how, like, you know, Darius, he be tripping or whatever. He gonna come back eventually. Like, don't trip. Don't worry yourself. Him and the baby is gonna eventually come back and y'all can work things out. So that's literally all we were saying. And so five minutes later, I realized Kirk went back outside and Darius and Kirk pulled, pulled off again. I don't know what the fuck he came in the house for. I didn't see him grab anything. I didn't see him leave with anything. So it was just like it was strange to me. And then moments later, me and my husband get a damn text message from the damn group. Now in this group text is me, my husband, um, Darius, and then some of the other like family members or whatever that everybody cool with. And we see that Darius wrote in the group and I'm going to see if I can find this text message. I don't have time to look for it right now. Um, but if I can find this text message while I'm editing, I'm going to throw it in there and I might pause it to read it to y'all if because I don't remember exactly what the text message said but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to find it because I think I screenshotted it I, I think I did if I didn't then that's why y'all don't see it but Darius was going the fuck off on us bitch making it seem like we were talking bad about him and I'm just like how the fuck you know we talking about you and you haven't even stepped foot in, foot in this house over the last couple of days and then immediately it dawned on me bitch Kirk in this motherfucking house being messy how you in my house being messy don't pay a motherfucking bill i barely know you but at the same time like i can't really fault kirk because he don't owe us no loyalty he been Darius' best friend for a couple of years at this point it just annoyed me because it's like you don't even have to be here you were like adding on to the confusion in the household by saying whatever the fuck you were saying i don't know what he told him yeah we were talking about him absolutely we were talking about him but we wasn't dogging him if i was talking shit about him then i damn right should have been because you want this girl here you had a baby with her this is all you're doing so if anybody should be motherfucking mad in this bitch it should be me i should have been talking shit but i wasn't that really pissed me off and at this point my husband was ready for, for kirk to get the fuck out we ended up exchanging words via text message and my husband told darius that kirk had to get the fuck out because he's starting bullshit that ain't got shit to do with him. Hell, this shit barely even got anything to do with us, but we somewhat a part of it because we always get sucked up in the middle of their bullshit, right? Have you ever been swallowed up? My husband like, look, your friend ain't walking here no more. He need to get his shit and he needs to go. And you know what the fuck? Darius had the audacity to respond and say. Well, if my friend can't stay there, then I ain't staying there either. Nigga, what? You live here. The fuck? You pay bills here. What does your friend have to do with you living in the place where you created a family at? This shit is happening right before rent is due. <laughs> right before rent due, bitch. So as all of this is going on, I'm kind of like already planning the outcome in my head. I'm just like, okay, I, I'm, I'm starting to starting to feel like this motherfucker getting ready to fuck us in our ass again let's get our asses together to be fucked and that's what he do and just like i was getting ready to say my last story time i was in the last video i was like yeah darius would never leave us high and dry <laughs> bitch what that was really just right up his alley so at this point we're like okay if that's what you want to do then that's what you want to do but you just know you still got bills to take care of. You're not just about to leave us high and dry like you did last time, right? So this is what we telling Darius at this point. But before we got like deep into the whole bill situation and all of that, Katrina and I would have like conversations, like side conversations, because this is when me and Katrina would like talk frequent. Like we started talking more and more at this point now that Darius is like pretty much not in the picture. So Katrina would always express to me how Darius would always start some drama or start an argument over the fact that she's still married. Now Darius knew that she was motherfucking married back in 2017. Two years later she's still married and you decide to move her in and the kids and then you get her pregnant. She's still married. So why is this an issue now? Oh, I know why because what Darius is gonna do Darius is gonna use that exact situation as an exit ticket so that he could get the fuck and really just raise his child by himself because that's what really honestly that's what I was getting at but I was hoping that it really wasn't what it was gonna be at this point I was still holding on to hope bitch prior to this happening Darius and Katrina have put like a bunch of shit on Lil Way for the kids for Christmas. Darius ended up paying the, I guess it's like a deposit or whatever that you gotta put down to like secure or hold your shit or whatever. And so Katrina, she wasn't working at this time because she was literally just on maternity leave um, from having the baby. So she wasn't working. So 
Darius did as he should have, you know, they in a relationship. So he took over and he made the deposit and was going to take care of the Christmas gifts, right? You know what? This boy did. <laughs> Why he canceled that entire little wet order, got his money back and proceeded to tell Katrina that she needed to figure what the fuck she was going to do about her kids' Christmas gifts because he not only canceled it, <laughs> but he got his money back too. And um, not only that, she had to figure out what the fuck she was going to do about not only her portion of the rent, <laughs> get this, but his portion of the rent as well, bitch. Are we surprised? Should we be surprised at this point? Should we be surprised? Probably not, but was we? Hell the fuck yeah, because my pockets was. Because <laughs> I was not planning on paying nobody else's rent. It was Christmas for me too, not just her. How many kids I had at this point? What, six kids? I had six kids to, to take care of Christmas for at this point. So I was not worried about nothing else besides my kids and my bills. But now we got a whole nother problem ahead of us, bitch. Oh, and let me put the cherry on the top. She did go back to work. I don't even think she took a whole six weeks off of work, bitch, honestly. Prior to Katrina and Darius getting into it, Darius would bring her to work. Like, they only had one card, which was the card that Darius's dad gave Darius. But his dad gave him that card specifically to help him and Katrina with the kids, right? I told her she had to figure out how the fuck she was gonna get back to work. Now I'm stressed out <laughs> because if she don't work, she can't pay these bills. Now, we could have did the bills by ourselves because initially that four bedroom house was supposed to be just for me and my husband. Y'all know the whole thing what happened in episode two. You know, Darius, he was going through an eviction and then we felt bad and so he ended up coming along with us in the house and, not, and then not only he came along, but then he brought Katrina and then they had a baby. All of that, that bullshit, right? We were well capable of taking care of all of the bills by ourselves. But why the fuck would I do that and I got two other grown people, well really three other grown people in my house. And so now I'm irritated because not only do I have to figure out how the fuck Katrina and her kids gonna have, well not Katrina, but Katrina's kids. I didn't want my kids just opening up Christmas gifts and not Katrina kids. Like that's not me. Like I'm sorry. Like I, I just, I can't. I can't do that. Like, I understand that shit, that shit really technically don't have nothing to do with me, but that's not my heart. We're going through the same shit all over again. Have to cover extra rent, thanks to Darius. But this time, we have to cover Darius and Katrina's rent. Being that Katrina had just made it back to work, she wasn't getting no checks in at this point. So the plan was for Darius to obviously cover her portion of the rent as well. <laughs> but bitch, he gone. Why? Because his friend can't stay here. His friend couldn't live with us anymore because he was being messy. So he decided to just be homeless right along with his friend like a fucking dumbass. As if he ain't got a child to fucking raise. I got a bonus. I, I literally, like this happened literally right before it was time for me to get this bonus. So I just feel like God, he be... He be arranging stuff because he be knowing what be about to happen, but I don't be knowing, but he be knowing. So he arranged it to where this situation just so happened to happen right before a bitch is gonna get some extra change. The moment you get an extra couple of dollars or whatever, some shit always is needed. It's always something whenever you get some extra money. And luckily for me, I have to cover her rent and his rent. You know, my husband could have did it, but why, why, like, why? He already taken care of a lot, and then I'm getting this extra money, so, you know, I might as well just, might as well fuck well. Not only that, I had to, uh, well, I didn't have to. I'm not going to say I had to, because I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to do shit, but be black and motherfucking die. But, again, I have a caring and giving heart. I also did Christmas shopping for her sons. Not only just the two that were living with us, but also her third son. Did I give her, give her third son a name? I, I probably didn't because I told y'all that third son don't live with her at all. This the third son. Let, let's go ahead and give him a name right now. We're going to call him Lil Joe. So Lil Joe, he, he did not live with us. He didn't live with Katrina, but he did live in Houston with his dad. Um, she had a total or she has a total of three boys, right? So I'm getting all three of her boys Christmas gifts. Um, I have to get them bikes well i didn't get little joe a bike because he had a bike so i'm getting steven and dante christmas gifts and shit i'm getting them both bikes bitch i got them tvs as well i got them some good shit because why like it's no way that my kids gonna have a good christmas and you yours not and it's not them kids fault i wasn't gonna be able to live with myself to see that her kids suffer like that so i did that you know what i'm saying and, I, and i'm thankful to god that i was able to do that if that happened today or tomorrow i would do the same thing all over again why because that's just who i am i had an scv at the time and i had just 
um, got my Maxima that I ended up turning pink or whatever. I work from home, so it's no, I don't really use my car. And the SUVs, especially, I didn't really drive the SUV that much at all. Like the SUV was just sitting in my fucking garage collecting dust. So I'm just like, look, you could, I'm telling Katrina, like, look, you can go ahead and take the SUV to work. Like, I, I know he trying to stop your money, but I ain't trying to stop your money because if your money stop, then that means my money gonna be stopping in a certain way. So, you know, I'm gonna make sure you get back and forth to work. So, it was cool. Katrina, she started going back and forth, using my car, you know, she, she put gas in it or whatever. And she was able to get to work as well. And she was real thankful. I don't know if she was telling her mama what was going on. Like I told y'all in the previous story time, I don't know what type of relationship Katrina had with her mom, but apparently it wasn't close because baby, <laughs> If I'm going through this, baby, all my family pulling the fuck up, okay? We pulling up. You took my baby, we pulling up. If you a day one, you know, like, I have to pull the fuck up. For my son, uh, back in 2016, I do have a story time about how my son was kidnapped. Shout out to my baby daddy, you know, we all good or whatever, but he had me fucked up, so I had to pull the fuck up and, um, take care of some stuff or whatever because motherfuckers had me fucked up. I'm just saying that to say like Katrina really did not have any type of support system. And I felt bad about that as well because it's like, damn, I know how that shit feels to not have a support system. Like I really honestly don't have much of a support system. Um, mainly because my family is like my main family, like such as my mom and my grandma, they don't live in Houston or whatever. So like, I get that. I get that whole not having support. So I wanted to be able to support her, even though I still at this point really truly didn't know her. But I started to get to know her more and more, especially after this situation occurred. I don't think I mentioned, I did tell y'all that Darius escaped to his sister's house, right? And how he was like refusing to give Katrina the baby. I didn't tell y'all that the sister lived 10 minutes away <laughs> when i mean 10 minutes bitch i mean 10 minutes probably we can probably even just you know what i'm saying stretch it to a good little nine minutes that's how close she was right weeks are going by and she has not seen her child darius has not came back to the house whenever he said if my friend can't live there i can't like he stood on that business and he he actually at one point came and get, got his shit like he came and got his clothes or whatever he still had his bed and shit like he didn't get none of his big furniture but he did in fact get his clothes bitch mm -hmm, he sure the fuck did and he also got his table at one point as well i didn't know where the fuck he was bringing that table at because like you didn't have a place to stay but that was that shit was my business i was just glad he was just he was out like he was out it was no drama you know what i'm saying well at the time it was no drama um, the only thing we were missing was the baby, right? Me and Katrina and my husband at one point, we were just talking and Katrina was just saying how she wanted to just go over to the sister house and get her baby. I don't know how she put two and two together, but she discovered that Darius ended up finding a new job and he was working overnight at uh, like a 7-Eleven or whatever. She was like, well, I know if he's working overnight, you know, I know that his dad is more than likely watching the baby. So I want to go over there tonight and go get the baby. And I was like, do that shit. <laughs> Finally, yes. I was also telling her, I don't know how it was going to be because it's a civil situation, like a civil matter. So they can't really like dispute, like law enforcement can't really dispute or like do custody shit. But in my head, I'm just like, well, shit, if the baby not with the daddy, then she could take the fucking baby. Like they can't tell her that she can't go get her baby from the from the grandparents, right? Like the daddy not there, so she should be able to just get the baby, right? It was like ten song at night, y'all. She went by herself. I sure the fuck wasn't gonna come with her because bitch, that is not my fight to fight. I've been fighting enough fights for her motherfucking ass for the last couple of weeks, okay? And I'm telling y'all this as how she told it to us after it happened. She called the police and let them know that she needed someone to escort her to get her baby or whatever. Um, the daddy wasn't home, the daddy was at work, and she just wanted to go get her baby from her, from the, the baby's grandparents. And so, um, they told her, just wait right there, don't make no moves, don't do nothing, just wait on us, and then we'll, we'll help you. I don't really know what made her just completely disregard what the police did. Instead of her waiting on the police, she walks up to the motherfucking door, bitch. And what happened next? I don't know if we need Dr. Phil or Judge Judy, bitch, because what happened next should not have happened at all. But of course, we're going to talk about this in the next story time because y'all know I'm the queen of cliffhangers. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to talk about that in the next story time because remember, look, this is a lot to unpack. So that being said, if y'all haven't done so already, like I told y'all in the beginning of the story time, hit that subscribe button down below. That way you don't miss 
when I post, which is also why you need to hit the notification bell because it will tell you when I post. And also hit that thumbs up button so that your girl could be known by other people and other people could join the family and we could just be one big happy motherfucking family. Okay? I love y'all so much and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!